Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video to show you how to tune to DadGad in case you're having problems with that. DadGad is a tuning I use for pretty much all of my tool covers and a couple of other songs. And it's really not that complicated to tune. We're starting with standard tuning. And all we're really doing is tuning the two E strings and the B string down a whole step. So the two E strings are going down to D and the B string is going down to A. So you have a couple of options. You can play the seventh fret on the low E string and the open A string. And then you tune down the E string until those two sound the same. Or you can also play the seventh fret harmonic on the sixth string and the 12th fret harmonic on the fifth string. And again, you tune down the E string until those two sound the same. And finally, you can play the 12th harmonic on the 6th string and the open D string. Alright, so those are your three options. I usually switch between those three just to make sure that I got it right. Sometimes uh, the guitars can have some weird intonation problems, so it's better to double check or triple check. So in this case, I'm going to do the second option, the 7th fret harmonic and the 12th fret harmonic. And I'll tune down. There. Alright, then I can double check with the 12th fret harmonic on the open D string. Sounds okay and 7th fret there it sounds a little sharp here you can okay so that's the basic idea then to tune the B string down to A what I like to do is I play the 7th fret harmonic on the 4th string on the D string and the 12th fret harmonic on the B string and I tune down the B string down to A until those two sound the same. It's a good idea when you're tuning down to stretch the strings a little bit to make sure they get used to the new tuning. back up there you go and then to double check that you can also play the second fret on the G string so you're basically playing the A there and you play the open second string and those two should sound the same and finally to tune the high E string down to D, you can again play the 7th fret harmonic on the G string and the 12th fret harmonic on the E string. Or you can play the 5th fret harmonic and the 7th fret harmonic. And the other option is just to tune like you would normally tune it, like the 5th fret on the second string and the open E string. Okay, so then let's try it this way. Tune down. Let's double check. Still a little high. Stretch the string. Too far. There, sounds about right. And we're in that gap. That's it. 
Uh, any questions, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.